In September 2015, Mabuza collapsed and fell ill, although it was initially reported that he was suffering from severe fatigue or a stroke, he told City Press that he had been poisoned. Vusi Shongwe acted as premier while Mabuza took two months leave to recover from his illness. Upon his return, he gave himself the nickname, The Cat, for his ability to survive attacks by his opponents. David Dabete Mabuza was born on 25 August 1960 at Pola near Hayesview in what became Bumalanga province. His parents were farmers. He matriculated at Kumbula High School, also in Bumalanga. He earned a teaching diploma specializing in mathematics education from the Mgwenya College of Education in 1985. He was also secretary of the Black Consciousness Aligned Azanian Students Organization, ASASO, from 1984 to 1985. While studying at the University of South Africa for his Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, which he earned in 1989, he began work as a school teacher. He taught at Gangwane, Department of Education from 1986 to 1988, and was principal of Lungisa Secondary School, also in Pumalanga, from 1989 to 1993. He also continued his political engagements. He was chairperson of the National Education Union of South Africa from 1986 to 1988. Treasure of Foundation for Education with Production from 1986 to 1990 and Coordinator of the National Education Crisis Committee from 1987 to 1989. According to journalist Ferial Hefeji, Matthews Porsa recruited Mabuza into the United Democratic Front in 1986. From 1988 to 1991, in the penultimate phase of apartheid, he chaired the South African Democratic Teachers Union, an affiliate of the influential Congress of South African Trade Unions. After South Africa's first democratic elections in 1994, Matthews Posa, the inaugural premier of Mpumalanga, appointed Mabuza his member of the Executive Council for Education in the Provincial Government of Mpumalanga. Mabuza served in that position until 1998, when Posa fired him after a scandal in which it emerged that the province's 1998 metric results have been fraudulently inflated by 20 percentage points. Pensuant to the 1999 general election, Mabuza was elected to the Mpumalanga Provincial Legislature and was reappointed to the Provincial Executive under Premier Ndaweni Mashangu, serving as MEC for housing between 1999 and 2001. In 2001, he left his provincial position to serve a three-year stint in the National Parliament. He returned to the Mpumalanga Legislature from 2004 to 2007. During this period, he became known to the province civil servants as the Hurricane for his sporadic eyeful outbursts when things go wrong. Over the same period, Mabuza ascended through the provincial ranks of his political party, the African National Congress. He was chairperson of the Nelspreet Regional Branch of the NC from 1994 to 1998 and a member of the NC Provincial Executive Committee in Bumalanga from 1998 to 2006. He became Provincial Deputy Chairperson of the NC in Bumalanga in 1999 and again in 2005, though in the interim he lost the 2002 election for the position of Provincial Secretary. The Mail and Guardian said that he used his time in the National Parliament to build national political networks in the ANC. He also reportedly ingratiated himself with two successive provincial chairpersons, Mashangu and his successor, Tabang Magwetla, by campaigning for them and positioning himself as their deputy while planning as early as 2005 to run for the provincial chair himself in 2008. Ahead of the NC's so-called Pulukwane conference in December 2007, Mabuza supported Jacob Zuma's successful campaign to replace incumbent Tabumbeki as president of the NC. At the conference, Mabuza himself was elected for the first time to the NC's National Executive Committee, the top executive organ of the party. After the Pulukwane conference, he returned to the provincial executive once more. He was MEC for road and transport from 2007 to 2007. 
2008, leader of government business in the provincial legislature in 2007, and MEC for Agriculture and Land Administration from 2008 to 2009. In August 2008, he was elected provincial ANC chairperson in Bumalanga, beating Lassie Chiwayo with 388 votes to Chiwayo's 305. He and an informal slate of allies, who were also elected to the party's provincial executive, ran an Mpumalanga first campaign that was described as populist and xenophobic in so far as it entailed reprimanding Mabuza's predecessors for giving government jobs to people from outside the province, especially from urban Gauteng. The campaign was supported by local branches of the NC Youth League, South African National Civics Organization, and Umkondo Sizwe Military Veterans Association. Mabuza's victory was also linked in some analysis to his support for Zuma. His predecessor, Makwetla, was one of several Prombeki provincial chairs who were replaced with pro-Zuma figures during that period. Others, however, thought the Zuma Mbeki rivalry was irrelevant in Bumalanga. As provincial chairperson, Mabuza became the NC's presumptive candidate for premier in the 2009 general election. On 6 May 2009, after the NC won the election, the NC caucus in the provincial legislature elected him premier of Mpumalanga. For much of the next decade, Mabuza held both positions concurrently. He remained premier until February 2018, and he chaired the NC in the province until 2017, winning re-elections in 2012, despite an attempt to unseat him. The Business Day said in 2018 that he had run Bumalanga with an iron fist. Among other things, he centralized decision-making power in his office through the so-called Rapid Implementation Unit. He was also well known for his initiative to construct a handful of large boarding schools in the province's rural areas. Mabuza maintained his support for Zuma, who had been elected as President of South Africa in 2009. He endorsed Zuma for a re-election to the ANC presidency ahead of the party's 53rd National Conference, saying, hands off our president. At that conference, held in December 2012, Zuma was re-elected, but Mabuza himself did not secure direct re-election to the ANC National Executive Committee. However, he remained an ex officio member of the committee in his capacity as a provincial chairperson. In the mid-2010s, Mabuza launched a successful campaign to expand the NC's membership in Bumalanga. Between 2012 and 2017, Bumalanga, one of South Africa's smaller provinces, jumped from being NC's fourth largest region to being its second largest behind KwaZulu-Natal. This meant that the province would be allocated more voting delegates at the NC's future national conferences and would therefore have more influence over leadership selection and policy determination in the party. According to journalist Norimitsu Onishi, Mabuza attracted legions of new NC members with government contracts, cash handouts, and even KFC mills. But some of his opponents claimed that Bumalanga leadership had artificially inflated its membership figures. And you wouldn't blame that, because you remember when you got fired for those metric results. Mabuza shared both tactics, his outspoken support for Zuma and his drive to increase provincial NC membership with two other provincial leaders, Supra Mahuma Pelu of the Northwest and Isma Khashule of the Free State. The informal alliance between Mabuza, Mahoma Pelu, and Mahashule, although they denied it existed, led journalists to begin calling them the Premier League because all three were premiers of their respective provinces. In September 2015, Mabuza collapsed and fell ill. Although it was initially reported that he was suffering from severe fatigue or a stroke, he told City Press that he had been poisoned. Vusi Shongwe acted as premier while Mabuza took two months leave to recover from his illness. Upon his return, he gave himself the nickname, The Cat, for his ability to survive attacks by his opponents. 
it later emerged that Mabuza had traveled to a state hospital in Moscow in October 2015 to receive specialized medical treatment and that he had traveled there on a private jet owned by the Gupta family which at the time was alleged to be involved in state capture under the Zuma administration. A spokesman explained the premier was gravely ill and was not in a position to easily walk or carry himself onto a national airline. According to Mabuza, the use of the Gupta's jet had been offered to him by Duduza Nezuma, President Zuma's son, who was a business associate of the Guptas. He said that he did not have any other relationship with the family and that the favor would not create a conflict of interest. Ahead of the 54th National Conference of the NC, which would elect Zuma's successor to the NC presidency, Mabuza and other members of the Premier League were viewed as the primary kingmakers both because of the large numbers of voting delegates allocated to their provinces and because of their apparent influence over the votes of the NC Women's League and Youth League. Mabuza, with the second largest number of delegates, was viewed as particularly powerful, especially as it declined to endorse wholeheartedly either of the two front runners, Kosazana Zamini Zuma and Cyril Ramaphosa. Initially, Mabuza was assumed to support Zamini Zuma, who had the endorsement of President Zuma. This was especially plausible because the other Premier League members were aligned to her and because her supporters seemed to view Mabuza as her informal running mate. However, his commitment to the Zamini Zuma campaign became less certain as the conference approached and Mabuza played both sides. Instead, he launched what he referred to as a campaign for unity in the NC. Indeed, he reportedly encouraged NC members in Bumalanga not to nominate presidential candidates but instead to vote for unity. About a third of them apparently spoiled their ballots by writing the word unity across them. The unity campaign gave Mabuza leverage with both front runners. In the week of the conference, he was described as the conference's wild card and most powerful man with the most power to sway the ultimate outcome. He had also received strong support for his candidacy for the deputy presidency and the business day expected him to be elected ANC deputy president regardless of which side prevailed in the presidential race. When the conference began on 18 December, it was announced that Ramaphosa had won the presidency and Mabuza the deputy presidency. He had beaten Lindy Wasisulu, Ramaphosa's running mate, by 2,538 votes to Sisulu's 2,159. In fact, of all the so-called top six leaders elected, Mabuza had won both the most branch nominations and most votes. In the aftermath, the NC Women's League, which had strongly supported Lamine Zuma, said that Mabuza had outsmarted and betrayed them. At the conference, Mabuza had apparently promised the Lamine Zuma camp that he would encourage the delegates from his province to vote for her. However, sources told the Sunday Times that Mabuza had not instructed his supporters to vote for any particular candidate, but rather he told them moments before the vote to follow their heart. A spokesman for the Women's League said that Mabuza and Ais Mahashule did not pull the candidate up. They used it, Lamini Zuma's campaign, as a letter for themselves. It's our demonstration to you to say this is how patriarchy is rearing its ugly head. In defense, Mabuza's allies said that he had not promised support to either candidate. The only commitment we have is to unity. Several newspapers reported that Mabuza had coordinated with Paul Mashatile on his unity campaign, including by lobbying successfully for Mashatile's election as Treasurer General. Despite his decisive role at the 54th National Conference, journalist Stephen Hrutz argued that Mabuza's position in the NC remained weak in the long term due to his lack of a national profile.
On 26 February 2018, he was appointed Deputy President of South Africa by Ramaphosa, who had replaced Zuma following his resignation. Mabuza was sworn in the following day and was also sworn in as a member of the National Assembly in order to take up the position. On 20 March, Mabuza gave his maiden speech in Parliament and for the first time responded to questions from other members of Parliament. On 21 March, he addressed the National Human Rights Day commemoration in Sharpville while Ramaphosa was abroad. When Ramaphosa was re-elected to a full term as president after the 2019 general election, Mabuza was reappointed as deputy president. On that occasion, his swearing-in was delayed as he sought to address allegations made in a report of the NC's Internal Integrity Commission that it was on a list of NC leaders who had brought the NC into disrepute. Among other responsibilities, Mabuza is leader of government business in Parliament, the head of the South African National AIDS Council, the head of the National Human Resources Development Council, and the patron of the Moral Regeneration Movement. He also chairs two cabinet subcommittees, one on governance and state capacity, and one on justice and security. The policy priorities delegated to him by Ramaphosa include land reform, anti-poverty initiatives, and rural and township economic empowerment. In 2021, Mabuza took medical leave to receive further medical treatment in Russia, where he remained for more than a month before his return in August. He did not reveal the purpose of the treatment, but media speculated that it was related to his alleged poisoning in 2015, when the opposition Democratic Alliance attempted to ask him in the National Assembly whether he had been poisoned. The question was disallowed by Nosi viewer Mapisa Ngakula, the speaker. When questioned further in 2022, Mabuza said there was nothing sinister about the trip, that its purpose had been medical rather than political, and that it had had no bearing on government policy on energy contracts or the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Mabuza's motorcade was in two separate car accidents in 2022. In the first incident, on 27 July, a collision on the N1 in Midrand hospitalized two of his protection officers with minor injuries but Mabuza was not in any of the vehicles. On 20 November, as the motorcade transported Mabuza from Bumalanga to the OR Tambo International Airport, one of the vehicles overturned when a tire burst. One protection officer was killed and two were hospitalized, but the car carrying Mabuza was not affected. Ahead of the NC's 55th National Conference in December 2022, at which Ramaphosa was re-elected as the NC president, Mabuza campaigned for his own election to the NC presidency. However, the campaign did not receive adequate support for Mabuza to be included on the ballot paper for either the presidency or the deputy presidency position. On the floor of the conference, he was nominated to stand for re-election as the NC deputy president, but declined the nomination. Nomination, he was succeeded by Paul Mashadile. After being succeeded by Mashadile's deputy president of the ANC, it was reported on 27 January 2023 that Mabuza had offered to resign as deputy president of the country to make way for Mashadile to take up the position. Mabuza confirmed at his brother's funeral on 4 February that he had informed Ramaphosa of his decision to step down. Ramaphosa asked Mabuza to remain in the position until the transition process had been concluded. On 1 March 2023, it was revealed that Mabuza had resigned as member of parliament the previous day, ending his tenure as deputy president of South Africa. In December 2009, an amount of cash was stolen from Mabuza's farmhouse in Pumalanga. The story attracted attention in part because it was never clearly established how much money was stolen. The Sunday Times heard from several police sources that 14 million rands was stolen but that only 4 million rands had been reported missing because it would have raised eyebrows that the Premier kept such large amounts of money at a residential property. In November 2010, a police constable confirmed that a case had been opened at the Babatin police station regarding 4 million. It had been referred to the organized crime unit because it was a high-profile case. However, 
However, the spokesperson of that unit continued to maintain that only 1,200 was reported stolen. Africa Report later linked the story to rumors that, during the period in which theft had taken place, several Mpumalanga politicians had received kickbacks related to the construction of the Mbombela Stadium ahead of the 2010 Soccer World Cup. In 2014, Mabuza unsuccessfully sued his former boss, Matthews Parsa, for defamation. The suit concerned a document entitled Classified Top Secret Report of a Police Agent, which Mabuza said Parsa had published and circulated in the ANC. Mabuza said the document made various incorrect and defamatory claims, including that Mabuza was a spy for the apartheid police from 1985 to 1993, Posa said that he had seen the document and had forwarded to ANC Deputy Secretary General Jesse Duarte but denied involvement in its publication. The Pretoria High Court dismissed Mabuza's case in 2017. Mabuza had been accused of involvement in political corruption and tender fraud. In August 2018, in a lengthy expose, the New York Times reported that while Premier, Mabuza had built a network of political patronage in Bumalanga by artificially inflating and carefully distributing contracts to build schools in the province, a strategy facilitated by his rapid implementation unit and thereby strengthened his political base at the expense of the public service delivery. Mabuza also had a long-running dispute with Fred Daniel, the owner and developer of Mpumalanga Nature Reserve, who claimed that Mabuza was implicated in fraudulent land scams in the province while MEC. He has said that the various allegations against him are part of a smear campaign by his opponents. Mabuza was rumored to have been involved in political violence in Bumalanga. This include persistent rumors, particularly among his local political opponents, that while Premier Mabuza was involved in conspiracies which led to political killings in the province. Mabuza was linked to the assassination of Semi Mpatlanyane, a government official who was shot in 2010 after he refused to sign off on controversial tenders. Most prominently, however, he was frequently linked to the assassination of Jimmy Mushala, who was shot dead on 4 January 2009. Mushala was the speaker of Mbobela municipality and had launched a crusade against tender corruption related to the construction of the Mbombela Stadium. His murder was viewed as an attempt to cover up the corruption. Controversial activist James Ngambule of the Congress of the People claimed publicly that Mabuza was responsible. He also accused Mabuza of using state resources to intimidate him and reported him to the police for intimidation over a threatening SMS he claimed Mabuza had sent him. Ngambule claimed to have met a Mozambican man who said he had been hired to murder Mushala and others and he was lobbying for the man's entry into witness protection when he was poisoned in October 2010. Several years later, Mabuza's former butler, Jan Fender, alleged that Mabuza had once let slip to him that he was behind the assassinations of Jimmy and James, which Fender understood as a reference to Mushala and Gambule. Fender was put in witness protection. In addition, Mzilika Ziwa Africa, a Sunday Times journalist who reported extensively on the killings and the claims of the alleged hitman, was arrested in August 2010 on a forgery charge laid by Mabuza, later dropped. He claimed that the charge was politically motivated and an attempt to harass and intimidate him. In 2014, two men from Bombella claimed that they have been members of a Daily Tricks task team formed by Mabuza to suppress allegations that he was involved in political killings. They had been offered 3 million rands and jobs in the government and had been instructed to steal documents from Gambule. Mabuza has consistently denied involvement in the assassination and, as of 2023, the allegations had never been prosecuted or proven. In 2016, he told a journalist, One day, people will get clarity when they lay hands on privileged information I have about political murders. This individual bought people to kill people and alleged that I killed them. They wanted me arrested to be out the way. 
In 2017, ahead of the NC's 54th National Conference, Matthews Posa told ENCA that Mabusa had a private army in Bumalanga. He said the private army carried weapons, disrupted ANC meetings, and otherwise sought to intimidate local ANC members who did not support Mabusa's political agenda. He made the allegation in connection with a video that surfaced of gunmen firing shots recklessly at a gathering, apparently in Pumalanga. Posa said that the men were connected to Mabuza. Mabuza and the provincial ANC denied Posa's allegation. At the time, Posa was instituting a court challenge against the Mpumalanga ANC, believing that there had been improper conduct in the process by which it had nominated candidates for the election at the 54th National Conference.